Hi guys, this is Serge from thesis2.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure your navigation menu for your online store with WooCommerce. So, uh, let's go to the dashboard. Uh, when we have installed the WooCommerce, uh, we have uh, clicked the button to uh, automatically install the necessary pages. So, what we're going to do in this step we're going to add those pages to your navigation menu. So, uh, once in the dashboard you go to Appearance, Menus, and once on this page uh, you just select the menu you, will, you would like to work with. On this test site I have only one menu, which is Primary. So, I'm going to add the necessary pages for uh, my online store navigation. The first one is uh, surely the shop. The second one would be uh, the cart, so that people may view their carts. And the third one would be my account. So uh, let us add those to menu and arrange some here. So uh, what I would like, uh, I will remove this page because uh, this looks better. So uh, what I have here is my shop, uh, my account. Uh, blog page, I will put it as a sub page of the home. So once done the changes here, I can save the menu and when we refresh the page here, you will see the changes applied. So here you go, you have your shop page here. You may go to uh, your main account page. Uh, when your clients are logged into your website, they can access their accounts to uh, control the information they uh, like buying address, uh, shipping address, they can change their passwords. Also if they have any products already ordered, the orders will be displayed here. And when you go to your cart uh, page, you will see that the, uh, the cart is displayed as uh, needed. So let us go to the shop and add something to the cart. For example, this product. Uh, when you click the cart page here, you'll see uh, the cart displayed. Uh, also, what would be nice to have is to have these uh, categories of the shop displayed under the shop here. Uh, and the pages for my account, uh, like changing passwords uh, or uh, controlling the abiding uh, address information, uh, would be nice to have them here as a submenu. So um, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm back to my appearance menus here. Uh, I just found the pages I need, uh, which would be, for example, uh, change password. You order indeed my address and lost password. So I add them to the menu and I drag them as a sub menu for my account page here. This page actually. There is no need for it. And for my shop, I will add the uh, sub tab uh, with the category of products. So I have only one for the moment here. Uh, and I drag it as a sub pane. Just mind the padding of the items here. And also mind that you cannot remove the uh, middle uh, tabs from here. You need to remove them, uh, to draw them at the bottom first and then to remove them from the sub menu. So just like this, you save your menu and when you go to the front add and you refresh the page, you will see that you have the uh, category uh, sub menu here. Also, uh, you may see your view order page, which is empty because I do not have any registered orders for the moment. You may change your password or you may edit your address. So here you go. Uh, then, um, I think uh, we're pretty much done with our setup for the uh, shop. In the next video I'm going to show you how to control the uh, product category descriptions here. And also I will show you in the following videos how to add a slider to your uh, main shop page.
here. So cheers guys, see you in the next video.